What's going on guys? Josh here with Techtopia TV and 2017 is about to be over. So we are going to be moving into 2018, naturally. So today we are going to be discussing upgrades. Everybody wants to upgrade. Everybody has a dream to upgrade, whether it's um, their phone, their camera, their computers, TVs, whatever it may be. As long as it's tech related, that's what we care about. So today we are going to discuss 2018 planned upgrades. Let's break it down in a Final Thoughts Friday. All right, so 2018 is just right around the corner and upgrades galore. What are things that we want to upgrade? Tell me in the comments below what you plan to upgrade. If it's just a phone, if it's your TV, if it's your whole entire computer, if it's just your CPU that might be bottlenecking your graphics card and you wanna upgrade that, by all means, let me know. I mean, there is a million things tech related that you could be upgrading to, so I am nerdy about all kinds of tech, okay? So, my big one for my final thought is these. These three monitors here. My plan, or hope anyway, is in 2018, I would like to upgrade to a 34 inch ultra wide 1440p most likely monitor. A single ultra wide monitor is my plan. I am going to get a little jar, as you will, and put a little bit of money in there every now and then and see if I can't buy one at some point. What I'm hoping is that the tech with CES right around the corner and everything else, I'm really hoping that the tech is kind of go moving on and, and progressing to the point where the nice, like the ones that I'm envious about now, come down a little in price. I mean, they're usually somewhere around like $1,200, $1,400. And when I look at those, I'm just like, what? There's no way in hell I'm going to spend $1,200, $1,400 on a single monitor. I just can't do it. There's just, I mean, even if I had the money, it would be a little hard to do just because it's a single monitor for 1,400 bucks. It's just crazy, but um, I find myself now, I play far less video games than I did before. I have 260 hertz and 144 hertz in the center. I used to be really big into Call of Duty, or not Call of Duty, Counter-Strike. Oh, Call of Duty. I used to be really big into Counter-Strike, CSGO. I played it all the time with my buddy. Um, and that's why I bought that monitor. I wanted the high refresh rate. I wanted it to be just super fast, super high, you know, just just all about the smooth accuracy and everything else. And I don't play it anymore. I just, I really just don't play as many games as I'd like to. Um, I do play every now and then with my friends and everything on the weekend, but you know, I don't know if it's an age thing, but we really just have been finding ourselves enjoying just like the most simplistic games on the planet, like uh, Human Fall Flat. I know I'm playing um, The Hunter Call of the Wild with my son right now. Uh, I'm just walking around, riding ATVs, shooting some deer, moose, elk, whatever, and calling it a day. Super simple, easy to jump into. Rocket League is probably one of my most favorite games. I, I can just pick that up and just play it anytime I want to, and it works out perfectly. It, it fills all the voids. I mean, I find it to be fun, it's competitive, it's fast paced, it's five minutes and you're out, you're done. And I mean, it's just, it's just a lot of fun to play. So I don't really find myself needing that. I mean, obviously 144 refresh. I mean, if you've never played on a 144 hertz monitor, you, you don't know what you're missing, number one. Number two, wow, what a difference it can make and going back to anything less, you're like, ew, like just, ew. So anyway, I find myself doing a lot more content creation. 2018, I'm really hoping to push that forward. That's going to be in a separate video, a reflections video of 2017, but for the final thoughts, for Final Thought Friday this time, it's going to be monitor, and I'd really like to upgrade this H440 case. 
I'm looking at probably either the Define R6 or the Meshify. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna go with, most likely the R6, but it's like 150 bucks for the tempered glass version. It looks so good though. And they're really great with their cases. I, um, the airflow is amazing. All, all everything about it is good. So those are my two big ones. So anyway, guys, leave a comment down below. Let me know what tech things you have planned for, to upgrade for 2018, whether it be monitors, TV, phones, cameras, um, audio equipment for if you do your own videos and everything. Just let me know. Let, just, just let me know what it is that you're planning to upgrade. All right. Well, this has been Josh with Techtopia TV. Thanks for a great 2017. And the next time you see a Final Thoughts Friday from me, it'll be a whole new year. All right, guys. Until then, you'll see me in the next one.